Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this video, we'll be solving one very interesting radical expression. So let's get started by considering this expression equal to e first. And also assume cube root of square root 5 plus 2 as x. So I will write x separately. x is cube root of square root 5 plus 2. Now we will consider cube both sides. So x cube will be equal to square root 5 plus 2. Now square root 5 is approximately 2.23 plus 2 will be greater than 1. So x cube is greater than 1. So we can write x must be greater than 1. Now I will assume y cube which is conjugate of x cube. So root 5 minus 2. Now we can subtract second equation from first one. So I can write x cube minus y cube will be equal to 4. Equation number 1. And if I will multiply these two. So x cube times y cube will be square root 5 plus 2 times square root 5 minus 2. Now we can apply the difference of two squares formula. So we will get square root 5 whole square minus 2 whole square. So this will give us 5 minus 4. So value will be 1. Now I can write LHS as xy whole cube, RHS 1 as 1 whole cube. And after taking cube root both sides, we will get xy equal to 1 for real xy. I will call this is equation number 2. Now we can assume let x minus y equal to t. And we can consider x minus y whole cube identity which will be equal to x cube minus y cube minus 3xy x minus y. So x minus y is t, so LHS will be t cube, x cube minus y cube. As per equation number 1, it is 4 minus 3 times x y is 1. Equation number 2 it is and x minus y is t. So I can write t cube equal to 4 minus 3t or we can write t cube plus 3t minus 4 equal to 0. This is one cubic equation. We can see our solution t equal to 1 if I will plug in over there. Then 1 plus 3 minus 4. Once we will apply t equal to 1. So RHS will come out 0. So t is equal to 1 is one solution to this cubic equation. So I can write t cube plus 3t minus 4 equal to 0 and t minus 1 is one factor. So I can write t cube as t square times t minus 1. Now I will write here plus t square then plus 3t, then minus 4 equal to 0. Now this is one quadratic expression. So I can factor easily. This will be equal to t minus 1 times t plus 4 equal to 0. Here we will write t square times t minus 1. Now t minus 1 is overall common. So we will write t minus 1 times t square plus t plus 4 equal to 0. So we can write t minus 1 will be equal to 0 or t square plus t plus 4 equal to 0. So from first equation I can conclude t will be equal to 1. 
and here I will check the discriminant only. It is equal to b square which is 1 square minus 4 times a times c is 4. So this value will come out negative 15. Discriminant is negative. We will get complex solutions. So we can reject this quadratic equation. So t will be 1 only and t was our substitution. So t was x minus y 1. Now our second equation was x y equal to 1. So from this equation we can write y equal to 1 over x which we will apply here. So I can write x minus 1 over x equal to 1. Multiply both sides by x. So x square minus 1 equal to x or we can write x square minus x minus 1 equal to 0. Equation is quadratic. We can use quadratic formula straight away minus b so plus 1 plus minus a square root of b square minus 1 a square plus 1 minus 4 times 1 times minus 1 so plus 4 over 2 times 1 so 2. So I can write 1 plus minus a square root 5 over 2. So we can write x will be equal to a square root 5 plus 1 over 2 with plus sign and another solution 1 minus a square root 5 over 2. Now condition on x was x must be greater than 1. So this value is greater than 1 and this is negative. So of course it will be less than 1. So this solution for x we will reject. So accepted x value will be root 5 plus 1 over 2 which we are going to write here. This was our x. Let's write. So I will write expression e equal to 2 times fourth root of 2 plus 3 and then we will write square root 5 plus 1 over 2. Now we can write this 2. We know that 2 power 4 is 16. So we can write 2 will be equal to 16 power 1 over 4. So I can write here 4th root of 16 times 4th root of 2 plus 3 times root 5 plus 1 over 2. Now I will club these two radicals. So I can write 4th root of 16 times 2, so 32, 16 times 3, so 48, root 5 plus 1 over 2. Now we can cancel 48 with denominator 2, so this will be 24 left. So I can write 4th root of 32 plus 24 times root 5 plus 1 or we can write 4th root of 32 plus 24 root 5 plus 24 which will give us 4th root of 56 plus 24 square root 5. This will be our expression E. Now I can split 56 as 36 plus 20. This is our split of 56. Then we have 24 square root 5. Now I can write 36 as 6 square. 20 we can write square root 20 whole square which will be 2 root 5 whole square 
and then I will be writing 2 times 6 times 2 root 5 which will be equal to 24 square root 5. So I can see a square plus b square plus 2ab. So we can write fourth root of 6 plus 2 root 5 whole square. Now we can cancel fourth root with power 2. It will be square root left. So I can write square root of 6 plus 2 square root 5. So E will be equal to square root of 6 plus 2 square root 5. Now again we can split 6 as 5 plus 1 plus 2 square root 5. Now 5 we can write square root 5 whole square. 1 we can write 1 whole square. And then we have 2 times square root 5 times 1. a square plus b square plus 2ab. So we can write square root of square root 5 plus 1 whole square. Now square root and square will be over. We will get our final answer as square root 5 plus 1. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Till next video. Bye-bye.